finding the lowest common multiple using the bubble method. So the purpose of the bubble method and finding lowest common multiple in this case is to get a common denominator so that we're able to compare 3 eighths and 5 twelfths. Right now these are very difficult to compare because they have different denominators so it's hard to tell which one is greater and which one is less. So we would use the bubble method to find a common denominator. So with the bubble method what we need to do is first do our prime factors for um, 8 and for 12. So 8 has factors of 4 and 2. 2 is prime, 4 is not. Factors of 4 are 2 and 2, which are both prime. So my factors of 8, prime factors of 8, are 2 times 2 times 2, which I got from this factor tree. The prime factors of 12, I find by first finding factors of 12, which is 6 times 2. 2 is prime, 6 is not. The factors of 6 are 3 and 2. Both are prime. So my prime factors of 12 are 3 times 2 times 2. Okay, so then what I do next is I draw a bubble. I choose either one of these to put all of the factors into the bubble. Doesn't matter which one I do. So in this case, I'm going to put in all of the factors of 2. I draw the uh, lines just so I know which numbers I put into the bubble. So I put in 2 times 2 times 2. Then I go to my 12 and I ask myself, do I have a first 3 in the bubble? No, I don't, so I put it in. Then I ask, do I have a first 2 in the bubble? I do. I don't put this in. Do I have a second 2? Yes, I have a second 2. I don't put this in. I multiply the numbers in the bubble to find my lowest common multiple. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 24 is my lowest common multiple. So from here, I've got my common denominator, 12. So now I need to find my equivalent fractions for 3 eighths and 5 twelfths that have a common, denom the common denominator of 24. So for 3 eighths, I know I need to multiply it by something so that I get a denominator of 24. I know that 8 times 24. Eight, I'm sorry, 8 times 3 is 24, so I multiply by 3 thirds. I multiply by 3 thirds because it is an equivalent form of 1, which means it equals 1. And any time I multiply something by 1, the answer is equivalent. 3 times 3 is 9. So 8 twelfths is equivalent to 9 twenty-fourths. I do the same thing for 5 twelfths. 5 twelfths times something that's going to give me a denominator of 24. 12 times 2 is 24, so I multiply by 2 halves because that is my equivalent form of 1. 5 times 2 is 10. So 10 24 is equivalent to 5 12 At this point, I would rewrite my problem. So for 8 12 my equivalent fraction was 9 24 For 5 12 my equivalent fraction was 10 24 So now it's very easy to see that 9 24 is less than 10 24 because they have a s common denominator. Since I know that 9 24 is less than 10 24 I now know that 3 8 is less than 5 12 And that is how you use the bubble method to find a lowest common multiple and compare two fractions that have different denominators.